a complaint against adopting TDD in practice is, oh, it doesn't work in my stack. Or it doesn't work in my language. And this, this, this feeling of always teetering on the edge of precipice of some kind of failure ought to sober us up and, and kind of drive us towards discipline like TDD and, of course, CD, continuous delivery. In your preface, you say TDDs adopt often adopted grudgingly and abandoned readily. So, so why is it? At some level, I think, and I hope I'm not kind of making a straw man argument. At some level, I think there's the expectation, especially of senior software developers, that they don't make, can't or won't make mistakes. If you had a shorter feedback loop, why wouldn't you go for it? There's infinite many ways to get it wrong. And I wouldn't say necessarily one way to get it right, but relatively a much more finite and small set of ways to get it right. Getting better at the RGR cycle, that triad is, I think, the best learning mechanism that I know of to learn testament development as a practice. Complex problems don't have a single point solution out there, as you said earlier in your example as well. But I wish it wasn't called test-driven development and uh, yeah. so much so when test-driven design would be a better thing, but whatever, it's still going to be the same acronym. I'm a long-time practitioner of test-driven development, uh, um, but my code looks different since I've been doing that. It, it really turns that laziness into something productive, right? Yeah, as I say, the subtitle of the book, it's about decluttering your code. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.